It started probably like two years ago during COVID. I started selling stuff on eBay. Um, and I kind of just came up with the name, like something random. I just needed it to work for eBay. And I figured Candy and Couture would be fine. And then, um, you know, that did really well. I've always loved thrifting. I've always had a passion for saving the environment and it did really well so i kind of continued with that eventually i opened up like a pop-up shop inside a local thrift store in birmingham um and then that did really well and i went through a horrible breakup and <laughs> i had all this chaos going on in my life and i'm like you know what i'm gonna buy a school bus i've always loved van life so i'm like i'm gonna buy a school bus and i'm gonna sell vintage clothes out of it um and i worked at the thrift store for a while which is actually how I got in selling clothes there um, and I just realized how much clothes go to waste um, it's like 80% of what you see at a thrift store pretty much ends up in the landfill or ends up in like pallets that are shipped somewhere like to third world countries that then end up in the landfill I was really passionate about that and I love to sew and so it kind of just became a hobby that turned into my job my mission at Canyon Couture is really just to spread awareness about like fast fashion and to ultimately take things that would be sent to the landfill and then give them a new purpose or a new life or really let people see the potential of things. I feel like when you walk into a thrift store, it's overwhelming and there's a lot of junk in there and it's hard to see the potential in like some pieces and then they end up getting thrown away. Um, I feel like a lot of vintage shops are really stuffy and really expensive and you have to pay a lot. So I try to keep overhead really low so that I can pass those prices on to my customers. Yeah, I did the whole conversion myself. Um, it was a really good way to, um, I don't know, I know how to fix almost everything on here except the engine. So that's really cool. Also doing it myself kept my overhead really low so it like, most startups you know take like a year to get out of the red so this way i keeping my overhead low it's hopefully gonna help me become more profitable in the future i definitely work like 10 times as hard <laughs> as like what i would do it in a regular nine to five but it's worth it to me just to be able to have that freedom and to take a vacation and travel when i want or and i love like having a solid mission i feel like a lot of companies it's like their ethics are a little questionable so i know i like to know like I am making a difference. Um, the easiest way to find me and shop is just to go to my Instagram because I post where I'm popping up on there all the time. So if you want to stay in touch, Instagram is probably the way to go.